Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm creating a little painting using the gouache 60 colour set from Arteza. I'm not very experienced <laughs> with gouache as medium, but I've been wanting to get into it for a while. Um, some of you might not know this about me, but I had a really bad hand accident in 2016, which stopped me from doing a lot of traditional art. As I severed a tendon in my drawing hand, I had to have surgery to fix it, but it also meant a very frustrating journey of learning to write and draw again. And because of this, I found traditional art a lot more strenuous and holding things like paintbrushes, pens and pencils, I've just found to be really tricky and unsteady. I used to have a really steady hand, but now I find, especially if I'm painting with a tiny paintbrush, that um, I wobble a bit. And because of that, I find painting quite hard, but I can only keep trying. I mostly work in digital now using an iPad. I have the standard 2018 model, which a lot of you ask a fair bit. I use the Apple Pencil and the Procreate app, which has been a massive game changer for me. And I never thought digital would be my thing and my go-to, but I've loved my journey with it so far. And it's definitely the thing that I use the most. But very recently, I've just been feeling really inspired by a lot of my artist friends online, who a lot of them do use grash watercolour and sometimes even oil paints and I think sometimes you just can't help yourself but think oh I really want to give it a go so this came at the perfect moment. So onto gouache, the box comes with a huge variety of shades with 60 colours in total and gouache as a medium has become very popular again. Um, my mum actually came round the other day and she's a real, a real art freak herself and she was like oh my goodness these used to be really popular when I was at college so I think they've kind of, they were really popular in the 80s and they've come back around again to be a really favoured medium amongst artists and they're described as being somewhere between acrylic and watercolour so I went for a cold pressed watercolour pad again from Arteza, thank you very much to them for these paints and they worked really well together. The pigments are really powerful and easy to blend, build up and mix. I did actually make a couple of mistakes because of my wobbly hand. I did drop a bit of paint in various places but I found that I was able to sort of just build this up with more colour and it didn't sort of like blend out or anything. It just built up really really nicely and the pigments are stunning. They are really powerful strong colours. If you add just a tiny bit of water at a time to your gouache paints, you get a lot more control of them and find a consistency that you're looking for. So when I started the painting, I think I was really in acrylic mode still, which is something, it was probably the paint medium that I have the most experience with before my accident, and I try and do a bit of watercolour, but it's not one of my stronger areas, so trying to find somewhere in between was a little bit of a shock to the system at first, I won't lie, but then I noticed after about an hour of painting, I really kind of got to grips with how it worked and got a feel for it, so I feel like I want to give it another go with another painting so watch out for that one. The brand have also confirmed that their products are not tested on animals, they're vegan and they're also non-toxic which is great. I'll just leave you to it but thank you for watching and also thank you to Arteza for gifting me these paints and watercolour pad to create this painting and also create this video for you so I hope you enjoyed it. Take care everyone! Thank you.
Thank you.